Hi, Alex here from Rebellaper.com and happy 1st December! It is the first day of our advent calendar and in this episode I am going to show you how you can create a sprite hit game from a single view application. So let's get started! So, why do you want to create a sprite grid game from a single view application? Why don't you just simply create the default sprite kit game template and go from there on? Well, because I really, really hate, as you already know, storyboards. So go ahead and take a look at my other video of how to get rid of storyboards from your application. And also, I really don't like SK files. That is why we are going to build everything programmatically. That is the way to go. So, without further ado, let's create a new Xcode project. Let me just close this and let's create a new project. And it will be a single view application, not a game, a single view app. So let's hit on next and I will give this product name Advent Calendar Tutorials and it will be a Swift language and let's click on next here and let's create a git repository for my Mac because I will post it online on GitHub so you may download it to your wish. Okay, I will put it here, let's see where it is on my desktop and I will put it under my YouTube Advent Calendar. Great. And maybe let's create, oh, it will be great. Let's create this project. Okay, now let's create a source control. So uh, go to source control, create Git repositories. Okay. Uh, better yet, go to this little icon, the second icon, that is a show source control navigator. Okay, and here, as you can see, we have our branches, our master branch, and under remotes, we don't have any. Okay, now let's uh, right click on it and create advent calendar tutorials remote on a GitHub. So go ahead and click on that. I will make this one private and let's hit on create. Okay, it is pushing it up. And if we go to GitHub now, you can see that we have our new Advent Calendar Tutorials repository and you will be able to download or clone this repository uh, to your liking. Okay, and let's minimize that and now let's just build and run and see how all of this looks of course it looks uh, as a plain old empty white app okay let's wait for it to build here it is a plain old white screen okay now i want to create uh, branches for you to examine so I will just create a branch from master and that is day one let it be a small d okay day one and let's create it and now as you can see we are in our day one branch it is the current branch okay now let's go back uh, to and maybe let's just commit this. Let's push the remote and... Uh, better yet, we still need to do some coding because we don't have any changes occurring as of the master. So let's cancel this for now and let's do some cleanup and then we will push up. Okay, select your uh, 
main storyboard. Well, better yet, let's go back to AppDelegate and here we want to create a new window programmatically. So, what you need to do is go ahead and type in window equals UI a window and now we need to make it key and visible so window dot make key and visible good okay now what we need to do is add a new game view controller upon this window so it will be something like this a window root view controller equals something so this something needs to be a view controller so it will be our game view controller so let game view controller equals to and as you can see we have a view controller here but i will create a new one a new file swift file oh let it be a cocoa touch class and it will be a game view controller so make sure to subclass it uh, uh, under ui view controller it will be a swift language okay let's click on next and let's create it okay uh, let's delete all this junk because we are going to create a game okay now in the app delegate let's go back and now you can reference your game view controller and then add this game view controller to your root controller of your window okay uh, good stuff now let's just uh, build and run and uh, well maybe let's just stop this and under view did load let's just and i will just simply oh what did this happen i would just need to stop this simulator okay uh, let me just simply hit command x and command v to make the indentation and let's just print out here one two three okay let's just build and run it and see the print statement being printed out in the console okay here it is good stuff okay next what we want to do is add an SK view for our sprite kit game. So to do that, let's just create this here. Let SK view, it will be an SK. And we still need to import sprite kit here. Import sprite kit so we may be able to uh, access the SK view here. So it will be let view an sk view and let's return this view okay good stuff here here now we need okay uh, yeah we need to initialize it so to be able to use this uh, in our view did load okay now let's add this sk view to our view so type in view at sub view and sk view now as you already know or you need to put uh, these uh, boundaries these anchors or constraints to our sk view so it may be seen on the view so first let's add our top anchor sk view top anchor constraints and it we choose this equal to and uh, it will be our views top anchor okay and we need to set is active to true okay good stuff now we have anchored it to our top next up we need to anchor it to all the uh, sides of our screen so let's give you right anchor constraint equal to view right anchor is active equals true sk view bottom anchor constraints equal to view dot bottom anchor is active equals to true and finally sk view dot left anchor 
constraints equal to view left anchor is active equals to true. Now, one final thing we need to set in our SK view view translates auto resizing mask into constraints equals to false. Okay, now we are ready to build and run again. And hopefully we will see a light grayish screen on our iPhone. Okay, there you have it. We have set up a view on our game view controller as an SK view. In the next video, we are going to finally add a uh, scene, an SK scene, a main menu scene onto our SK view. Now, till then, well, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you already haven't done so, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below to see more videos of me about iOS development. And of course, to get notified when new videos are released daily on our advent calendar. Okay, I will see you in the next one.